Hello everyone and welcome to Las Vegas Lifestyle. On this television show, we're going to help inform you on health, wellness, and fitness. I'm Valerie Pro, and to my left here we have Miss Yvonne Lewis. Hello everyone. And to my right we have the beautiful Miss Sienna Ramey. Hello everyone. Glad you can be here. And we have our own very special guest today, Miss Laura Wilson, our very own health professional. Welcome, ladies. Thank Hello, you. Thanks thank for you. having me. Now, what we want to talk about today with you is obesity. It, this is something that affects Americans all over the place. I mean, it is just the, the statistics on it. It's, it's just a scary epidemic, really. really now, Yvonne, tell us, what is the definition of obesity? Well, you know, when you talk about obesity, it's, it's such a sensitive issue because there are so many of us that are carrying around those extra 10 or 20 pounds, and we really don't want to think about it as obesity. But a general rule of thumb is if you are 20% over your ideal weight, or if you have a body mass index of over 30, a BMI, then that typically means that you are, you've entered the obesity realm. So now, Sienna, what do you think causes this for Americans? What, what causes obesity? Unfortunately, so many factors affect everyone. Stress is the number one factor of obesity, as well as um, poor diet, lack of exercise, and so many more. And Laura, what can you say about that? Well, I think one thing that we really have to worry about with obesity is the health risks that are involved, um, both in children and with adults. Um, in my profession, I would say more than half of our population in Las Vegas is suffering from hypertension and diabetes. Right. And both of these can be controlled through weight. So More than half. Frightening. More than half. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. Laura, talk to us a little bit more about um, uh, the obesity, you know, and the causes of obesity and, and what we can do to control those things. Well, first of all, um, it is very wise to always consult with your primary care physician. Um, there are lots of elements that um, come into obesity. One um, is genetics. Um, there's also emotional, situational problems. Um, another one is it's good to talk to your physician about the medical aspects of having obesity. Um, sometimes, you know, get your blood tested, go to your doctor, get simple blood work done, find out if you've got thyroid issues, find out um, if there's anything physically wrong with you that's causing your weight gain. And as I understand it, just simple blood work will, uh, you know, give a lot of results in the testing, yeah. correct? It will. And a lot of the time they ask you to fast. Um, they check your cholesterol. They check hormones for women is a big issue sometimes with weight gain. Any so. type of hormonal imbalance, of, uh, in particular women, but in uh, all adults as well as children these days, yes? Right. Yeah, and unfortunately, obesity is just taking over our, our, the kids of America right now. I mean, the, the food that they have in their school, the lack of exercise. I mean, what do y'all think? Is, is this something we should blame on the parents? Is it something the kids just need to be more informed about during school? I mean, what, what do you think we should do to help these children? I think, I think our, our world has changed. You know, there was a time uh, long ago when children were out, you know, out and playing and running around in the streets and swimming and doing different things. And, and certainly, you know, uh, our world has changed. We've got video games now. Kids are doing more sedentary things. They're sitting in the house and, and not really getting out and getting that physical education. Things are, you know, being cut in schools, programs, and such. So we have an issue now of, you know, our parents making sure that their children are getting the right type of physical activity that they need, um, or are they sort of being kind of lazy parents and letting their kids sort of map their own road uh, to their health, you know? So. Right. As you said, having the television as well as video games become video games. the babysitter or the child sitter. Unfortunately, right, it is the lack of activity and exercise. Every day, children ought to have at least an hour of activity. There's there's such little, you know, active beings as it is, and with the extra weight gain, it can cause such a stressful inner mode for themselves. 
Right. Yeah. And you know, even when it comes to the video games, you got the the workout videos that that they came out for Wii. So I mean, there's definitely these manufacturers that are trying to make a difference. But at the end of the day, I really truly believe it's up to the parents to make sure that this is put into their household for these children. Good parenting. Absolutely. That is that is the most important. You know, and like it more, takes a village as well as parents. Yeah. Exactly. It's so true. <laughs> exactly. Like Laura said, you know, some of the causes of obesity are gener genetic, behavioral, environmental. So we really have to really start looking and thinking about, you know, if this isn't a genetic problem, if it isn't something that you can go to your doctor and find out what you can do about it. And the behavioral problems in the family, you know, we can't say it's genetic, but maybe that family tends to overeat and children learn, you know, those habits as they're coming right. up and they tend to take them, you know, into their lives with them. So, you know, I really think it's very important that parents really uh, stay on top of what your children are doing because, you know, obesity in children just, lead, just leads to so many other different things, stress and health and everything. And, you know, we already have enough. Kids already have enough things going Absolutely. on in their life. They really shouldn't have to worry about obesity, especially if it's not a genetic thing. Absolutely. Well, we kind of went over with you what causes obesity, and when we come back, we're going to let you know how to fix these problems. Stay tuned on Las Vegas Lifestyle. By the time you see this, half of all American children will be overweight. Here in Southern Nevada, our children are facing a battle every day, a battle against unhealthy lifestyle choices resulting in chronic illnesses and a lifetime full of problems. Now that we know, we can do something about this. By participating in just 60 minutes of moderate activity a day, we can greatly reduce the effects of childhood obesity. Let's help our youth truly jump for joy by showing them how making healthy choices now will lead to a happier, more productive future. and welcome back to Las Vegas Lifestyle. If you're just joining us earlier, we talked about obesity, who obesity affects, and what causes obesity. Now we want to kind of go into what are the tips to fix obesity? What, what can we do to fix this epidemic across America? Well, I think, you know, probably one of the first things that comes to mind is how are you going to do it? You know, are you going to do it in a surgical manner or are you going to do it in a non-surgical manner? Surgery, I think we'll let our resident uh, expert here t just give a little information about that. I am not by any means a, like an MD, but you really have to consult a primary care physician. And I think you really thoroughly have to go through the procedure and the risk factors and weigh the pros and cons and see. But the best way to lose weight is to exercise. And so I think starting right now, we should, <laughs> we should do it. I know we're all in dresses, so we won't do it. But I'm, right now, as you're listening to us, I think everyone should just sit down, take a little piece of carpet, and start doing sit-ups. If you can do 10, great. If you can do 20, great. It's a start. Right, and any exercise is good exercise. I mean, 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, and just progress your way. Because, you know, people out there, we're, we're busy. We got jobs. We get stuck in traffic. Some people got children to worry about, a husband. And a whole family, but you got to progress and you got to make the time. That's the most important issue. Yeah, are you done with those sit-ups yet? By the way, <laughs> <laughs> you know. a little applause to our audience. Thank you for participating. But exactly, we just need to keep our bodies moving. Whatever it is that um, you are into, just keep your body moving. And it does not matter if it is at a high intensity or a low intensity. It's just the movement itself, and that helps continuously with one's metabolism. You know, we've all laughed. And joked about it, but really, Laura, what you said is, is very, very important. If you're thinking about having some sort of surgery, something you really, really should stop, do your homework. Do your homework. Make sure that that's the right, the right choice for you, the right choice for your family. And if you don't have to have surgery, like we've all said, get out there. Start doing some exercise. Start spending time with your family. Get out there. Move around. That's really going to help you. It's going to help your overall health. It's going to help your overall feeling about yourself, making you more healthy, making you feel more sexy and everything, Absolutely. spending time with your family. I really, really think, you know, that you really should really give it some serious thought about how you're going to go about losing that weight. And you know, Yvonne, it's amazing how we can connect all these dots. Because if you exercise, your stress levels will will reduce. And with stress, <coughs> if it's overwhelming your body, it causes a hormone cortisol, which in return causes weight gain. So if we, if we put the dots from exercise to stress, guess what? We'll lose weight and feel great. And one of the things that we know, if you're stressed out, 
you may start overeating. So that may take you Absolutely. into a room that you've never right. even taken like before. It's a vicious cycle that you have to stop yourself. It's the entire mind, body, spirit exactly. connection. Yes. So everything is connected. So it's all about making the healthier choice and being in balance. I think that's the most important. Right. And speaking of, of mind and body, that's why a lot of doctors and people out there are, are suggesting yoga. Because if you relax yes. your body and your mind, guess what? Your stress level goes down. And like I said, you'll lose the weight real fast. 